Take us back to like the start then, for, for when you had like, a moment when you were younger, like this is what I want to do. So how did it all come around for you, like getting into this? hundred percent. It's just I could only say I beat it really. I mean, right. like I, I went there with loads of mates for since like 2006, 2007. And then about 2013, I thought, you know what? I'm going to quit my job and just go and do a season. So I went out there 2013 with four or five lads and they bailed in the first two weeks. And I was, I was like, I'm staying. Right. So I, I got a job with, uh, with We Love at Space on Sundays, um, just selling tickets. And I met everyone through that. I met like I met Jack. I met Scream. I met all the all the sort of people are classed as friends now in the music industry, and like that was a big turning point for me. Where I was, I was like, this is what I want to do. So I went next year, um, worked for We Love Again, and then 2015, no 2016, I got off. For, I was sort of DJ and regular, like sort of in the, in the clubs in the West End and stuff. And I got a couple of gigs at at Sankey's and Ibiza, and then. I did a tour with Hudson City 2 who, who had met the previous years in Australia and I got an email from Steve Lawler that, that while I was abroad and um, he's asking me if I wanted to be a resident for Warriors. Now that was like the big turning point for me. That was like a weekly residency um, at Sankey's Ibiza and that, that sort of changed everything for me. That sort of manager sort of came into, into, into play, sort of booking agents came into play because of that and it sort of, it sort of spiralled from there. And then. Um, like fast forward to last year, Nick Van truly doing a schwire for him at Dance or Die. That was another massive reason. Like, Ibiza has just been like out of this world for me. Like, it's a massive, a massive part of my my journey and my and my career. That's awesome. That's awesome. Because the thing is, you hear so many people saying, "Yeah, I'm going to go and do the season." And of course, mate. I mean, it was hard. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I've lost a few. Like, the, 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 the majority of the guys all bailed out. And it's like, actually, you've seen the long haul picture here and going, yeah. what, this is going to take longer than two or three weeks, man. This, this is going to be years of rapport building. Yeah. And people really don't realise the value and the connection and just being oh, with someone else. Yeah. Like, half the time, see, when you go in that and going, right, I'm going to give them my tune and I want a gig or I want this, they're going to find you out. You know yeah. what I mean? It's yeah. like, it's nice to just have those connections, have those parties and those yeah. moments. Yeah. Yeah. Forget yeah sometimes forgettable and, uh, and it, you know and it's like you'll always remember that and go god see when we were in that party he put on loads of good tunes what's he like what's he like yeah. DJing and yeah. you never know how it was that's amazing no I mean I mean I mean definitely the, the 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 connections thing and contacts over there like all I did was in my first few years I just I just went out as much as possible like like I can't I could not stress that enough to younger DJs was like just get out there I mean obviously not everybody can do Ibiza seasons. Every, every, 